soon. Yeah. So I'm here today with Sasha to talk about what's important to her in her life. Sasha, can you tell me a little bit about yourself, please? Or tell not many the people. Uh, 33. Um, in general work, I nanny. I run an Airbnb, and I also do landscape design. Um, Where'd you grow up? Uh, born and bred in Brisbane. Nice. Um, would like to be at the sunny coast though. Yeah. So, yeah. Future plans? Yeah. Yeah. And I've said in the next year or two, sunny coast, move it up there. Yeah. Airbnb up there? I don't know. It depends. I've kind of got a bit of a niche because I'm near the airport. I got a lot of business because of that. So, yeah. So you might keep your Airbnbs down here and move up there? Yeah, probably. Yeah. I'd like to try and keep my place down here. Yeah, okay. Even if I rent it up there. That's a good point. Mm. Having that near close to the airport. Mm. I get a lot of business because it's near the airport. Oh, okay. Mm. That's cool. I didn't even think about that. Mm. Mm. So, yeah, so can you tell me what's important to you in your life? Uh, what's important to my life is probably balance is the first thing that comes to mind. Yeah. Um, uh, sort of, I guess, with, with everything, with work, with fun, with health, and that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. um, Definitely sort of a, a work to live, yeah. not live to work sort of person. Mm -hmm. um, not greatly ambitious, but that doesn't bother me. I quite like just sort of not here, being a big company, corporate world or anything, just happy with what I do. That's sort of smaller and maybe less menial for some people, but it's what I prefer, yeah. taking it easy. And, yeah. What does balance yeah. look like in like a specific area of your life? What does that look like? Uh, How do you achieve balance? Like it's everyone wants to achieve balance. How do you achieve balance? I guess it's sort of finding what's important and taking the time to get those things worked into your life schedule. Yeah. I guess sort of if you're into health, making sure you're just doing those few points, not sort of doing it so much that you're forgiving things like social or... It's like sort of when you're on a diet. I don't see the point of just starving yourself. I'd rather sort of just eat a fairly balanced healthy diet and then on the occasion a splurge nice. that sort of sort of thing because you yeah. know it's that's what it's supposed to be then yeah Not just yeah yeah so what is it what does it look like what so pick an area what is like a specific thing like what's the is there like a specific thing that's important to you that's like you know i guess travel is pretty important i kind of prefer to do big trips yeah so I kind of go a year or two, and I'll just sort of head down, tail up, work, save, and then I'll just kind of disappear for at least a month. Otherwise, I tend to feel it's not, no, it's more of just a break of a holiday. It's not the travel where I want to actually sort of sort of see a culture and, and experience it that way. Yeah. Sort of thing. I have to figure Australia's so far away, you've got to make it. <laughs> <laughs> the most of it by yeah. the time you get out of it fly anywhere so yeah mm. and you go to experience the culture is that why you travel oh, i think it's a bit of not just sort of experience culture but other parts of the world and see what different people their idea of the world and sort of their standards or what they're up to and just get a piece of that um what's the other thing i just thought of but it's also i guess i do like it because it's a certain amount of time you do tend to leave behind responsibility for a little bit. Yep. It's, you're kind of leading up to it, you've got to make sure everything's done so that when you're going away, it's as kind of those bills that are coming in day to day and like the, just the day to day things that can be a bit mundane. Yep. You don't necessarily, well, you do have to do it, I guess, but it's, it's in a different environment. It's something new, it's something different, something it's not experienced. So yep. I guess that's one thing I found. Where's your next yeah. upcoming two holiday? Two months. I've said two months in India, northern India. Nice. So how are you going to travel around in India? Two months. For two months. Uh, Any way I can, trains, whatever. Just I'm kind of looking forward to it being really gritty and yeah. Backpacking. Sort of backpacking. Yeah. Nice. Pretty much. No scooters. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Motorbike. The, the opportunity presents itself. I guess 
that's also another thing that's important for me at the moment is just trying to say yes to opportunity that comes to like unknown opportunity it presents itself don't think about it too much um, I tend to overthink things and <laughs> always see the negative in things rather than the positives that could come out of it and just sort of be like oh well, look what are the outcomes here? It's mostly positive. The likelihood of that, weigh it up. Is it worth the risk? Is it not worth it? Usually it is. Just go for it. Live in the moment a bit more. Yeah. So I think that's another thing that's important to me. Yeah. yeah. Just being able to be spontaneous. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. It's probably one thing I like. So. Yeah. Spontaneity. Spontaneity. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Is there anything else you'd like to add? <sighs> not that I can think of. No. Has anyone mm -hmm. asked you this question other than me? No, I don't think so. I don't think. Is this something you'd, you'd consider asking others? Yeah, definitely. Well, I, I sort of was thinking about it the other day. And it is sort of, as you said, a lot of people don't even stop internally and start to ask themselves, let alone someone else asking them. Mm. And... Um, I think it came to another thing. I was thinking, oh, I gave blood the other day, and they said, oh, look, you're, pump, you're literally pumping through it. Yeah. Pardon the pun. Yeah. And they're like, oh, you really, you must be healthy, looking after yourself. And I was like, oh, I think it's also a lot to do with state of mind, and I've kind of been in a fairly good place. Yeah. And it's kind of just come through full circle almost with health. And I was kind of thinking, well, it's a big issue because when people are healthy, everyone and they're happy. Yeah. And when people are happy, kind of everything just seems to run smoother and it it's kind of takes on its own. Yeah. yeah. So that was one thing that I kind of thought from that, but yeah. not directly. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. awesome. Mm. Thank you, Sasha. That's right. Have a Thank good you. time. You're welcome. <laughs> it's my pleasure.